Welcome back to Silver Run Forest on Farming Simulator 22 Platinum Edition for episode 21 with me, Mr. CLP. I'm here at our paper mill. We have got one paper roll and we've got one card roll. I tell you what, it's weird. I was, was I talking to you about my dad. I was thinking about um, doing a video down where I used to work at the post office and where my dad used to work next door at the print. Um, and it's all gone now. There's a big block of flats and the Morrisons and stuff like that. But these big old paper reels just made me think we're dead straight away. Funny that. Well, not funny, it's just a fact. So, what I've done is I've taken the liberty of renting the train. I am actually blocking the crossing at the moment. We're going to take the, the uh, card roll and the paper roll. Best price for these at the moment is Elm Creek, that's why I've got the train. I've got a whole load of equipment out where I've been doing my logging, where I'm clearing by the side of the railway. And uh, I have put in a silo from the last episode. I've put in a silo from the Silo Living by Omatana. Um, it's a slightly different one to one I've used before. I mean, it, it, in essence, it's the same thing. It's a multi fruit silo. I can't remember what the capacity is now, but it's more of a grain bin than a, than a standing silo kind of thing. You'll see when we get down, go over there. And um, so, what we're going to be doing in this episode, I have got um, top mix ration products to make. I'm not making the top mix ration, but I'm gathering together the component parts as we have them. I've cut all the grass as I did in the last episode. So what we're going to be doing is baling some of it with the, the Vicon fast bale. I'm going to be collecting the straw. We've got the uh, TARDIS that we, we uh, bought in the last episode, the Lizard TARDIS, also by Omitana. And I'm going to be making some hay. I've got the LO300, what was it? TR300 by Hoffy. So I'm going to make some hay, we'll gather that. So what I need to put in today, as you can see... Oh yeah, that's the thing I've done. On this plot here, where I've been doing my logging, I've just gone round with the hydraulic breaker to all the rock piles, and I have been breaking all the rock. That was the last one I did, and that's where I ended up. There's a few rock piles scattered all across here, and I'm going to go up to the North Sawmill and do the same process up there. But what I'll do is gather up the rock we've got here, because I want to put in the... Um, stone crusher debris crusher lime production i've used it before but i'm going to put one in we are blocking the road like i say there's a car waiting so what we're going to do is unload from here load onto the train it has been suggested and i'm always open to advice and suggestions now what i would say i've said it before with regard to advice and suggestions um if you haven't watched all of the videos in a series or you haven't watched my channel or you know I seem to still be getting loads of messages from people asking me things or telling me things and when I say I've done that already or I've shown that or people then say oh I haven't watched that video so well, okay I, I kind of oh I've just realized what I've done don't think I've done because it will attach onto the trailer it's the only problem using the big bag handler rather than if I can get it a bit further out maybe I can do it uh, rather than using forks. Is that going to fall or can I just pick that chat stack now? No, it doesn't like it. There we go. I just have to knock it off the trailer. Yeah, that's the only downside to using these rather than using forks is because the new attachment system with the trailers and things, um, it, it tends to just grab the trailer and not what you want it to be grabbing, which is a bit useless. I know, sorry, I know you're tooting, I'm making the right meal of this, I do apologise. Um, yeah, so, and I've said it before, and it's not going to stop people doing it, obviously it's going to probably make it worse, but um, if you're thinking of leaving a comment or a message, or you want to message me about something, have a look to see if I've done it already. And if you're not watching my videos regularly, I, I would argue, well, watch, <laughs> watch my videos. <laughs> Ask me questions or a comment on what I'm doing when you haven't watched what I'm doing. It does seem a bit odd, but, I'll, you know, I don't know. It takes all sorts, I suppose. Yeah, so anyway, it has been suggested when I said about the pallets um, coming off, and I did have one that was left on the floor. Uh, it, someone did say that slowing down the train does it. But if you've got a lot of pallets on there and the train's going full tilt when it goes out through the cell point, um, it doesn't like it, it can't process them all quick enough, so once it can't process it just pings off the train. So what we'll do is we'll go a bit slow. I've only got two pallets, so it shouldn't be a problem this time. Um, and the other thing was, a lot of people said to me, um, why didn't you just, rather than go from the North Sawmill, 
and you um, drove all the way across the map to the other cell point, why didn't you just reverse up and do the cell point? Um, that's what Dagoin and other people do. I have said that already. And again, coming back to my videos, I said on a much earlier video I had done it off camera. I drove up there. I showed where it was. Um, I did say kind of, not spoiler alert, but you know, I know some people wouldn't be happy because it's kind of cheating. But I have mentioned already there is a cell point up there. I just wanted to use the train. And if I used the train and moved it like 100 yards, it just seemed a bit, not pointless, but you know, I know it's quicker and easier. I'm just, you know, just saying. So yeah, we'll get these delivered and then we'll get on to the next process is, like I say, uh, silage, bales of the Vicon Fast Bale. I should just be able to keep honking through. I've got to be careful. I need to try and balance out my hay production. So what I might do is do some bales, then switch to hay, collect our hay. But I, my other problem now, it's not a problem, but as you can see, I've got my silo just here. The field is cleared that I was doing the wheat harvest at the end of the last episode. We've got a fair bit, actually. Over 48,000 litres. My lorry trailer is full. Um, so I need to put it into the silo but do I just because it's a multi-fruit silo just say you know what I'll put the um, the straw and hay into that which makes sense or do I go a bit more realistic in I know it's a multi-fruit silo but get a different silo which is more of a hayloft um, which I might do but it's working out where to put it so no, that's that's the kind of that's the plan. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enjoy doing it. If we speed up, uh, but if I knock down the, let's knock that down to about 30, for example. So we should hit 30, and we should stay at that. The rolls sell for about I think at the moment Elm Creek they're over 6,000 for a thousand liters. I think. Um, and each roll is 2,800 so we should do alright um, for just two of them one paper one card it's not far to go anyway but no, I'll have a saunter back I did think about the whole you know I've done quarries I did it on Calmston and, and uh, did it on Western Wilds there's lots of rock that I can break and collect. So what I might do is go through a bit of a, a, a series of... Um, ...36,197 for two pallets. Not bad. Um, yeah, I might just buy land, break the rock, collect the rock... I mean, it's, at the end of the day, it's, I say not mining exactly, but quarrying, rock collecting, um, and then sell the land back. So all I'm doing is I'm helping people out. I'm clearing the rock, the pesky rock off their land, and it means I can use it. Good thing being, I don't need a huge amount of, um, I don't need a huge amount of lime. Like I said on the last episode, I am going to be liming my fields, but I've only got, at the moment, two fields that require it. As I move forward... I might need some more, but as it stands, it will only be two fields, so I don't need a huge amount. Um, I'll, I don't know if I'll get on to that today. That might be the next episode. We'll put in the debris crusher. I'll collect the, the rock. I'll go and get one of the wheel loaders from up at the North Sawmill. I'll put the big bucket on the front of it. We'll gather up what we've got, and we'll get that production running, so I've got some lime. Um, hopefully, by the end of this episode, I'll get those three things done, collected, and stored, and then I might start ploughing so I think the fields are going to need ploughing so uh, that's yeah that's in essence the plan you know how it normally goes for me no plan survives contact with Mr Silly P <laughs> so whilst that is the plan at the moment I don't know how that's going to work out um, as far as the hayloft goes let's have a look in the build mode if we go to the silos we have got an option of one. It is another multi fruit. We've got these here. So this is the farm supplies production. Now under productions, there's the one I used on Western Wilds, which you can produce all sorts of stuff. You can make hay, you can make tail mix ration, all that kind of stuff. These are, say, just haylofts. Five million litre capacity. But for 25 grand for a hayloft, that's pretty good for the capacity. So we've got those. 
Uh, we then we've got a multi-fruit silo version. Now the thing about it, like I'm saying, I've got a multi-fruit silo just there that I've put in. So I might just go for the Hayloft version. It's got a large enough capacity, but the question is where do I put it? If I put it up here, it's going to be in the way. I did think about maybe swinging it round, although that's going to go over that. It's going to overlap that, isn't it? Onto the field. I don't really want it on the field. What an angle, maybe? I was just thinking if I change the way the track is, I could have my hayloft here. It's going to be in the way, isn't it? Maybe just bring it in a little bit there. So I can put into my hayloft and take out of my hayloft here. Have I still got room for putting cows in? But then I'm quite, I'm out of the way a little bit. I could also then bring my silage bales over here. And if I'm going to put cows over here as well, it would fit quite nicely, I think, with what I want to do. So that's probably not a bad idea. If I put it about there. Yep, I'm going to do that. So, what I'm going to do first of all is put my grain away. Make a start on the bales. We'll then do a bit of hay. Yeah, we'll get a few bits done. So 48,000 litres. I could get chickens straight away. I've got, I can feed them now. We can do chickens. If I want to do chickens, I can put in a chicken pen, which I might do. But I say, I don't want to do it all in one go. I'm just excited about getting all of the things done. Actually, what I will do. Let's start this up. And I'm definitely going to, I might put a shed up here, actually. This might not be a bad spot for a shed as well, for putting some of my equipment. Uh, let's raise that up. I could probably do it with a header trailer, actually. I didn't buy one, but I probably should have done. I've got 8,000 litres in here. So, what's that? 56,000 litres. That's pretty good. There we go. Yeah, maybe. Clear. It's just, it's all weird shapes, isn't it? It's, um, I don't really want to use my grass fields, which is the obvious place to put stuff. Another thing as well, because I've changed my mind about what I'm doing, the whole concept of just becoming a mountain man, which is what I'd originally said I was going to do. I was going to find a plot out in the, in the wild, and I bought that plot of land overlooking the, um, the North Sawmill, now thinking because I'm doing farming down here, do I get myself um, a nice little place down here by the water overlooking the river? Or I thought maybe up on that hillside there there's a watchtower so I can kind of look down over the fields I own and the water. I've got options, let's just we've got options. I've got a full load of nine meter and some odds and ends that need to be sold, and then I've switched to 12s. Because I'm kind of wasting trailer space there. So I've switched over to 12 meter cuts. I've got a pile of logs over there which are 12 meters. We'll get those loaded up at some point too. Let's move this out of the way. Just think if I put it at an angle, and I'm going to be in the way of my silo now. Life gets very confusing sometimes. Let's do that. Right, this was over. I was going to make a start and I thought, oh no, no, I need to. I'm filming. Of course I'm filming. The beauty of the... I mean, there are some balers and they all have automatic drop on or off now. I think most of the balers do. Um, and there are a few, the Pertinger ones and what's the other one? Is it the Impress? And there's a couple of others. Um, but they don't have the pre-chamber, which is what this has. So this has the pre-chamber, so it'll put it out onto the back. That'll be preparing the silage bale while it's doing... If you haven't seen this, you might be new to the game. You might not have seen the Vicon fast bale. This thing is an absolute doozy. I think I've got it... Uh, right. Let's turn that on, drop that down. We should... Yeah, let's keep going. Now, a lot of people said when this came out, um, they were having problems with it not going particularly fast. The speed of the fast bale is dependent upon um, the amount you've got in your windrow. If your windrows are quite big, if you've got a lot in your windrow, um, 
Now it's just going to be done and unloaded before I've got a full chamber again. Possibly not. No. Oh, it did pre-chamber it. Oh, that's pretty good. That's all right. I wasn't sure if it would. So 3,500 litre bales. I had that panic from like... I've missed a little bit, that's all right. Yeah, so if you're finding, if you're using this that's going slow, it's all just down to the fact that you've got... Um, so that should pre-chamber. That's on the back. Yeah, brilliant stuff. So I can just keep going. Haven't got a stop at all. don't know how many bales to do really. 3,500 litres of bale, 10 bales is 35,000, 20 bales would be 70,000. So what I want to do, I think about this mix wise, I don't think I'm going to have a huge amount. But I'm not going to be doing cows just yet and hopefully the grass will regrow again and I can just do the process again if I need to. I need to have my thing open, so I've got a bale counter. And then I'll just balance out my hay and my, my silage as best I can. I mean, the other option, of course, is I look around for another plot, like I said, that's got an open pasture area, and just buy that if I want to cut more grass, which I could do, I suppose. It's certainly an option. Let's just open that up. Hmm, that's interesting. So a lot of the balers have the bale count. This one doesn't. So I don't have the bale counter. It normally tells you what the bale count is for this session, and then the bale count forever. The other option is to go to Bales produced six. I have to say it's not bad. Although, like I said, they're only 3,500 litre bales. They're not massive, but they'll do the job. about collecting them. Don't have to go for... I'll try and hit 20. When I hit 20, stop then switch over to the hay. I've got this the little Volvo tractor on the um, LO TR300. I'll show you that. And like, again, there are so many different ways of doing this. There's all sorts of clever whiz-bangy ways. You can you can hook up multiple things together. You can do it all in one pass. You can, you know, there's all sorts of ways you can do it if you want to save time and that kind of thing. And you absolutely can. Of course you can. I'm going to back up a little bit because I want to drop in front of that strip. There we go. Um, I just wanted to do it this way, I, you know. Drop that down. So, I'll try to get to 20. What are we on at the moment? 10. Um, enough grass left. We're going to have way more straw. But then I, I do need straw for... Um, I'm going to need straw for bedding. As well as if I do want to pad out my Telmix ration, which I, I don't know. I could just decide I'm going to go 50-50. I'll, ma I'll make sure I match up my hay with my silage and I'm fine. Or I could pad it out with, with straw. If I pad it out with straw, then the mix has to change. And it's normally a quarter of the mix would be hay. No, a quarter of the mix is silage, a quarter of the mix is straw. And half of it is hay, which means I need double the amount of hay to the other products. So it's working out the best way of doing it, really. Come back for another bit of missed. Right, I'll see you in a minute. 
Um, over, I'll be with the Volvo, we'll get some hay done. And then we'll go and grab the loading wagon. We'll gather up the hay and we'll put it into our new hay loft. And then we'll also gather up some straw, we'll get that done as well. Hopefully balance this out and then we'll get the... Um, get some of the bales collected. I might just use the... Uh, the skid still loaded with the pickup and the trailer and just you know I, I could use an auto load trailer I could use, and I could speed this whole process up but I, I think I just want a bit of you know, a bit of calm time a bit of just focus in get in a, a zen like state it's 10.22 I hit 20 bales so that's 70,000 litres uh, I've got my Volvo BM 2654. I've got the LO TR300. And we've got our Lizard XL. Or oh, this is the TARDIS M. I went for the 50,000 litre one in the last episode. I could have gone for the XL, which is a 200,000 litre capacity, but you know. You know how it is. So I'm going to do hay first. We'll gather everything that's on this field. If I hit 70,000, then I've got to try and balance stuff. I've just suddenly realised this actually goes over one of my trees, but it doesn't matter. It should be okay. So we turn that on. This thing's brilliant. It's a tedder, but because you can adjust the back of it, you can keep it wind road. So if you've done wind roads already, you can just go along and you can just tedder wind roads. Like I said, I did it on Western Wilds, but if you didn't see me do it, if you haven't seen me use it, it's brilliant. I really like it. Hats off to Hoffy, that's what I say. The pickup uh, width is pretty good. And while I'm doing this, um, I was asked the other day um, when I'm going to be doing my next walk and talk, because uh, it's been a little while since I've won. I did, uh, I can't remember what I mentioned it on now. I don't have accents. Outrageous behaviour. Um, that, I've been trying to. <laughs> I've been out walking, but yeah, I haven't been able to record anything because it's been raining, like, all the time. Uh, it just doesn't seem to want to quit for some reason. Yeah, it's not going to let me do all of that, is it? I should have windrowed that over a little bit further. Never mind. Um, yeah, I haven't been able to record anything because it's been raining. It's just been horrible. Um, so I, I, I was intending to get out today, but I've woken up. It was blowing a gale during the night, raining again this morning. Um, I was going to do... I don't know if I'm going to take Farm Dog, but I was going to do a longer walk, go out for the day, rather than kind of do Paris 10 training stuff and do like a 5 miler or a 10 miler to get myself kind of back into it. I thought of just getting my rucksack on my back, putting my stuff so I can make a brew, and just going for a long walk. You know, maybe stick in 12, 13, 14 miles, just go out for the day kind of thing, was what I was kind of thinking. I didn't do that. Some of it. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to do that. Maybe Sunday, I might be able to get out. I might do a little bit of a stream while I'm out. Um, it all depends. It all depends on weather and... Uh, it doesn't like that. I think it's a little weird. I've done some of it. But not all of it. I just worry that I'm going to get caught up with the... Uh, Uh, the forage wagon. So yeah, I will, we will get some more. We will do some more. I just need a bit of a, a period of uh, a period of calm, some dry weather. We should be okay. I've been looking at mixer wagons. I did say about maybe going for a. a I've got the forty-five thousand litre one. There's a Silo King trailed one. There's also a silo farmer one. Uh, is it Universe Mimoti, I think it is. The Tambora 30. 30,000 litre. Which I might go for. I don't know. I'm just, I don't have to worry about that yet because I haven't got cows yet. But I'm just kind of planning ahead with what I might do. This is perfect. I'll do this whole field as hay. And then, like I say, we can, we can then just balance between this and the other field and then we'll just collect everything up. Mm. 
I'm just finding I'm going back to that kind of relaxed state again. Not that it was frantic before, but it was just, I think, because I was trying to get logs done and there was snow on the ground and I'm trying to keep up with the various different productions and deliver wood and I kind of got to a point where I think I've got most of them topped up for the time being, so it's just going to be a case of um, checking them every now and again, making sure that my boat yard and, and the roller coasters don't run out of stuff. And if they do, topping those up. But I think, fingers crossed, we're okay at the moment. Just a nice steady pace. And I did start out on the Western Wilds doing this, but like I said, I got to a point I had different animals and all sorts of stuff going on, and I switched over to the farm production building I think it was so all I was doing was just cutting the grass I was just cutting loads and loads of grass getting all the grass in there because I, oh yes in the farm production building I was also I was using some of it to make Telpix ration silage because I was doing silage as well wasn't I so I was producing silage for my grass all those productions were going on and I was selling silage too I was using silage for other productions so I had a whole load, so all I was doing was cutting the grass, putting it into that facility, and then that facility was turning it into hay. Whereas this way around, I'm producing the hay at source, and uh, cracking on. Um, I also was thinking, and I don't know how people feel about this, when I do my next Let's Play, whenever that may be, on whatever map it may be, because I don't know yet, haven't decided, and we'll see what comes out as we move forward. Um, I did, Griffin was full... I say full, pretty much everything. I did seasons, I did hard modes and you know, hard economy and all the stuff that people wanted. Um, and it was a challenge, it really was a challenge. But I haven't done precision farming for a bit, so what I might do, I'm not going to do seasons in precision farming, I'm just going to do precision farming. Um, I know a lot of people prefer to have the seasons on. I'm, I've, I'm finding it because it's not full-blown seasons like the Realismus modding seasons. And the reason I'm saying that is because of the hay here, because obviously um, with the Realismus modding version when you did your tedding you had to dry it if it was wet and then you would you could ted it and you know there were, there were processes you had to go through to get it all done properly and I liked that as a process so you had the various different stages of it um, it, it was it was the full blown seasons Whereas, obviously, the, the Giants version of it is, is a sort of somewhere between the two. And I, I just find it sometimes too restrictive for growing crop. I know, that's, that's the point, isn't it? That's the whole point of seasonal growth, isn't it? That's how farmers work, you know. It's restrictive because it's seasonal. That's how it works. But I don't know. So, yeah, I might do precision farming on the next one. So, as I did with the uh, silage bailing, what I'll do is continue on here. We'll get this all done, and then I'll see you while I'm collecting this, and then we'll see how much we've got off this field, and then I'll balance between that and the other field, and we'll get this put into the silo, and then we'll use the loading mic, and we'll go and collect up the straw. We're going to have a lot of straw. Um, I think we're going to have way more straw than we've got grass, but... I do have some options with that as well, though, because I've done it on other Let's Plays. I can turn that straw into other products if I wanted to. If I use some different productions, we could use the straw and all various different things for making fertiliser. We could make manure. I've done that before. Take the straw and put it through one of the productions to make manure. And then we could use the manure for fertilising. Which I haven't done a lot of muck spread in all honesty. I tend to use it again for other things. On um, Western Wilds you could use the manure for the biogas plant which would allow you to make methane which would allow you to make money but I haven't really done the manure for for spreading on fields which I guess is I, I could do that on here couldn't I? Maybe I'll do that. The hay has been made, uh, let's get that going and let's see how much we get off this field. I'm just thinking how much I cut 
for feeding the sheep as a kind of gauge for how much we'd like to get. Oh, what I have also done, I'm hoping it's going to work, I bought that plot of land just behind there, the hillside again, because it wasn't letting me um, ted that grass. And what I'll do is I'll collect the grass and I'll sell the land back again. I just needed access to it really to, um, to be able to pick it up. Yeah, I'm just thinking what I've already fed the sheep off of this field. I think we're going to get more than a full load of 50,000. So, yeah, if we're anywhere up around 70,000, we're matching what we've got in the other field anyway. And I'll come back around and gather up wherever I need to. Yeah, we probably will do, won't we? I'll do a few routes around and gather it up. And like I say, I'm, I'm pretty sure, judging by the amount of straw we got off of that field when we did uh, the wheat harvest in the last episode, or we started the wheat harvest in the last episode, I finished it off, off camera, but I think we're going to... Um, we're going to do all right off that as well. Let's turn that off. Swing around before that car comes. I'll do all the outside ones in a minute. And hopefully this will all start to grow back fairly quickly. I topped up the sheep um, and they I think they're all but one lot because I had four pens originally. I mean the last pen I did, they haven't gone into re reproduced yet, but I think the rest of them have, so I've almost doubled my sheep. Um, so hopefully by the time they need topping up again, the grass will have regrown and I can just cut grass. If not, I can top up with hay, so I shouldn't have to worry about the sheep. Yeah, we're looking pretty sound actually. 30,000 litres, almost. There you go. I'm not going mad, I don't think, when I do cows. I'm, we'll get some. Um, we might get sort of 30 head of cattle or something like that. We're not going to go crazy, so we're not going to need... Oh, hang on, I'll this up. We're not going to need huge amounts of um, Tolmix ration, but again, as an ongoing thing, I have that tendency to um, overproduce what I need just to make sure I've got a good store of it. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with just having enough to get you through till when it's ready to harvest again. So you just have to then you know, do this process the next time over. But I, I always have that thing in the back of my mind. If I do way more than I need, then I haven't got to worry for a while. And, you know, again, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Of course there is. Being prepared and, and stocking up on stuff, why not? But it doesn't hurt to run for this process every now and again. Keep an eye on the uh, second-hand markets as well. As I'm doing this stuff now, I might get a third tractor, I don't know. And we might get a mega deal on a harvester, and if we do, I could always sell the harvester we bought and, and get a different one, but we'll keep an eye on it. I did more on Griffin because, um, because we were struggling with money. I just didn't have the money to buy bigger equipment when we started out. So it was that thing of needs must, you know. There's always that trade-off, though, with the second-hand market that I found with the tractors especially, not so much the other stuff, but the tractors, that, yes, you were getting a really good deal on the tractors, but then what you were spending on repair costs more frequently and quite expensive repair costs, um, it wouldn't take you long before you'd reached the point... I mean, again, you've got access to the tractor. I mean, that's the thing of looking at it. Even if it takes you a year's worth of gameplay, two years' worth of gameplay, and you find you've paid out what you would have done buying the tractor new the point being you couldn't have bought the tractor new when you needed it so I guess it, yeah, it's, that's the reason why you would do it that way nearly at 50 judging by what we've done already we might be looking at 100,000 so what I've found is sometimes this does not want to turn other times it's great I don't know if it's at low speed it doesn't like it Right, now two around the edge. This way. 
and I'll go and unload this. What I might do is do this, then I'll do a load of straw. That way we've got the three things we need done. And I'll come back and do the rest of this. But I'll obviously then, when I've got it all off the field, we will come back together and discuss how much we've got. And I need to load the silage barrels up. What's the pickup on that? Actually, that's not too bad. It's just whether it's going to pick up these odd ones. For some reason, it doesn't like the terrain. Yeah. It's a bit of a funny angle here. Once I've gathered all this up, I can then sell the land back. So, yeah, it's missed a little bit there. I'll come back for that in a moment. There we go. 50,000 litres. So let's put it into our new hayloft. Now, again, I just want to... I'll reiterate, I went for the Hayloft version. Yes, it has got a very large capacity, but it's not the full production one that I used on the Western Wilds. So it is just a Hayloft. For the same price, I could have gone for the production version. It feels so weird being down here. It's an, it's an area I've driven around and across to deliver to the sawmill, but because I originally had no intention of doing farming on here, now we're down here utilising it for farming. It feels like a whole different new part of the map, you know. I know it's weird, I know that's probably crazy, but I'm gonna be careful with my cows as well because I haven't got a lot of space here for putting in a cow pen. But if I'm not gonna go too big. There's the alien gym ones, but again if I've got space to put them in, I don't know if I've got them actually installed. I don't know if I have. Hessian Farm does forty five. Yeah, that's the only one I've got at the moment. Right, so what we'll do, let's gather up some of the straw as well. This will be a good gauge. We'll do a couple of strips of the straw to see how much we're likely to get. That will also inform whether or not I decide to go down the route of turning some of this straw into manure. So, if I remember correctly, oh, was it a one to four? No, it wasn't a one to four, was it? That manure production that I had. And they'll be prepping. Uh, that's the other thing I need to do is check the field here. So we are soil composition, turn all that on and there. But it doesn't need anything. That's odd. So it's going to need fertilising, but according to this, it doesn't need ploughing. Doesn't need lime. I could do with mulching it actually once I've done so I'll get a mulcher. Um, hmm, that's peculiar. Why does that not need? I was convinced it would need ploughing. Maybe not. Okay, well mulching then. I need to get the plough. I'm going to buy a plough though because um, I'm going to plough that section like I said out by my cotton field. I'll, I'll roll a whole load of those jobs, like I'm doing with this one, I'm doing a few jobs in one go. So what I'll do, I'll roll a few jobs up like that. I think maybe the next episode we'll look at getting the debris crusher in. Uh, we'll look at maybe the manure thing, we'll see how we go with straw on this. And uh, I'll plough out that new field and maybe we'll get some sowing of grass done over there. Because at the moment, and that's where I'm going to find some stumps, I think. I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure I would have missed some. But we'll only know once we start doing it. Um, oh yeah, and then to gather the rocks from here when I do the debris crusher. I've still got more trees to cut down here. That'll be an ongoing process. Um, I've got to decide now, looking at my productions. Now, seeing what the card and paper rolls sold for, it's well worth me keeping that paper mill stocked up with lumber. So what I might do is take that load I've got at the moment and make sure that's fully loaded. And then, what was the other one I had in town? Was it barrel making? No. One of them required lumber, didn't it? Sorry, I'm back to the menu again, but... Um, which one required lumber? No, that was planks and metal. Uh, I think I'm full here, that could be why. Yeah, floor tiles are full. I've got them on distributing, so they're going out as they're needed, but at the moment, I might as well turn that off. Oh yeah, it was suggested that I put this on, because at the moment, it's moving metal over. 
Um, well, to be fair, that's only going to be a problem. That will just sit like that. That shouldn't now. That should any distributing won't go to there now because that's full. It's only if my outgoing products and I've set those to distributing. If they fill up, then the whole process will stop. I won't be able to produce anything. I could put armoire on just to use up the metal, but then I'm using my planks long on planks, which I'm using at the moment for my chairs and tables. So it should be all right there. That one I turned off already. Oh, there we go. It's the wood turner for the staircase railing. Um, that required wood, but that's full. And I've stopped that as well because my staircase railings are full. Um, I could switch that over, I guess, and get some pepper grinders and wood bowls going because I haven't really done any of those yet. Should we do those? Should we put some of that on? Or am I going to regret that? I won't do it planks long, I'll just do wood. Yeah, why not? We might as well get those going. Uh, these are chugging away. My wood beams are almost full. Is that the old sawmill. And then once the boat yard, oh, there we go. Look, metal's full. That's on distributing. And I've topped that up. So everything's pretty much ready to go as the roller coaster and the um, boat yard start using them. We can get cracking. That's still going. How much did I have on there? This side, because it did. I made that mistake with the planks, didn't I? So I've got here 47,000 litres of planks that transferred over to there when I set it to distributing. That currently we are producing our fabric, which is producing, and we've got furniture being produced. I think I've got three or four pallets. So yeah, I've got a whole load of stuff. It's all it's all going. That's what I'm. You know, I'm I'm kind of continuing the processes that I'm doing, the the forestry type related things, the boatyard and roller coaster now are kind of in the background at the moment. Everything's almost full up, so I've reached that tipping point where it's if I'm kind of plugged up until something else produces. Uh, so we'll turn our hand to the farming and then every time I need to deliver some lumber or I need to transfer some whatever it might be, uh, we'll transfer it. Yeah, we're almost at a full load already. I say almost at a full load, 30. No, don't say much longer. So I think if we end up with, I don't know, 300,000 litres off of here, I don't think we're going to get 400,000. I could put in the manure facility and we could trans for 100,000 litres of that and turn that into manure which we could then use for fertilising. I'd get myself a muck spreader and we could do a bit of that. And then I'll cast my net. Once we've got all these prepped and ready to go, I don't know what crop I'm going to put in this field next. Sunflower aren't ready yet but when they're done we'll do the same on there. We'll re-prep that field. And we'll, um, we'll kind of decide where to go from there. Whether I continue to do crops that will benefit animals just into livestock or do I pick a crop type that's going to make me some money I mean I'm making money on the forestry so it really is going to be these fields will be to keep my livestock going so probably some more barley some more wheat if I'm going to do chickens I can't grow pig food but I could grow the constituent parts for pig food Need it 50,000 bingo right so what I'm going to do now is load this in and I will then clear this field and the other field off camera. I'll come back to you when we've got it all into here so we know what we're playing with. And then we'll grab our trailer over, I'll get the little skids to load up and I'll start loading silage bales on and we'll, I guess, unload them over here. It makes more sense. I'm going to put a cow pen over here to have all three components over here. Minefield. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I have taken the liberty of leasing the Lizard Katrina 
9,000, nine meter mulcher. This is another one of my go-tos. I really like this. So I'm going to set this off mulching the, what was the wheat field. I've moved a lot of the equipment from here. I think I'm going to put my shed here on this little plot here. Makes more sense than trying to squeeze it in elsewhere. Um, I also balanced out bales of silage with hay. So the swaths that were left, I tried to balance it as best I could. I've got 36 silage bales at 3,500 litres, which should be, if my maths is correct, 126,000 litres. If we whiz over to our hayloft, we should have, I think it's about 129,000 litres of hay, so it was as best as I could get within a bale, within a silage bale. Um, yeah, 129,000 litres of hay. We got 233,000 litres of straw. Not as much as I thought we were going to get, but not too bad. And like I say, 126,000 litres of silage. So what I'm going to do is get this going first. I've just put the uh, loading wagon there. I'm going to leave it there for the time being. I haven't got to worry too much about grass over the edges here when I do the mulching because actually there's not that much. I don't know if that's just we've come out of winter, but there's not that much over here anyway. But um, once I've done a couple of strips top and bottom, I'll set this off and run in. And then I'll start loading up. I've bought over the, um, the skid steer loader and the trailer. And again, like I say, I could have done auto loads. I could have done, you know, um, auto stacks. There's all different ways I could load my bales, but I'm just going to spend a bit of time doing it myself, I think. Um, I'm also going to put them on stack rather than, rather than put them on um, normally. Mine's gone blank. Uh, stack or anyway, regardless, but I'm going to be stacking them just because when I unload them, I don't want them rolling away. That's just again, it's a personal preference. Do it any way you want. <laughs> it's not up to you. What I might do is just set this off anyway, and anything that it misses at the other end, I'll just sort it myself later on. I think that probably makes more sense. I'll do a strip to the end. Actually, I'm going to do some other work now. Let's see how we fare. And then I'm going to need to buy myself a seeder or a planter. Um, I'm, I'm going to have a look, I'm probably going to default again back to ones that I've used before but I'll probably want to get a direct drill otherwise I've got, I need to, I will need to cultivate um, I should probably move that harvester over I need to get a shelter put in and I can move the equipment still, still clonked it obviously a bit of a collision on that yeah, well, did I hit the tree in front? I hit the tree in front, didn't I? There we go. Um, I've lost my thread again. <laughs> so it's out there. Oh, I was going to... I let the worker just go, but... I took a couple of strips this way as well. Then I'm, oh yeah, I was on my cedar. Yeah, so... I, I will at some point need to plough. When it gets to the point where it says it needs ploughing. But um, as it stands at the moment, it doesn't. So if I can get myself a direct drill of some description, um, I, I want to get something different because, I, like I said, I do tend to default to the same things all the time. But that's just... Yeah, you like what you like and you use it. That's why I think going on to precision farming on my next Let's Play will be something I only did when I did the precision farming videos. Um, I, I won't have remembered all of what the facets and stuff were. I'm not too bothered when I go on to there about hitting that 100% um, environmentally friendly. I will just do my thing and see what happens. Let's get out of the way. 
Excellent. So, skid steel loader. Let's see how we go about this. I haven't actually tried to put them on the stack, but there's another good feature of using the, uh, the CSZ pack. Balefork, what well, should be able to do with that Balefork grab. I should be able to strap it at 90 degrees to the floor. Hopefully I will. So what I'll do is do that. Actually, I'm going to extend that a little bit just to give myself a bit of room. Back up to about there. I'm just going to raise that a bit. And then we can do that. That'll work. It's a bit of a, a faff because obviously, yeah, if you're just doing bail spikes over, just drive up, bang, bail spike it. Or if you're using bail grabs, you could just do the same thing with bail grabs, but I just thought it might be a little bit uh, for me personally. A little bit better when it comes to getting them later on, they will roll away and that kind of thing. I just, you know, personal preference, that's all. We will get faster at this as I'm going between bales. With various different grabs and pickups and collectors, I could be doing two at a time, three at a time, you know. But I'm not. <laughs> it's going to take me a while. But I'm more than happy with that. If I was doing this over and over and over again, is it repeatable? You've got to be in the mood. I think that's the thing about it, is doing anything like this. At the moment, I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm more than happy to do this because, like I said, I've missed doing farming. So, as far as I'm concerned, doing this it's going to be relaxing, it's going to be calming, and I'm going to enjoy it. If I was feeling a little bit touchy, if I was stressed and struggling, and time was an issue, from Monday, giants are back in the building. I mean, they're back in the building. I think some of them already, but the uh, dev team mod testing mod posting isn't going to begin until monday the earliest the 9th when we get back to mods maps mod reviews map tours um then i start to run out of time you know it, that's always been the case i might need to give that a bit of shove i didn't really put that in the best possible position um i'll do it in the next one so yeah, when you're in that situation and you haven't got a lot of time each day and you're trying to get maximum done, would I be spending this amount of time doing this? Probably not. I would probably have gone down the route of, of a, an auto load or an auto stack, I guess. Um, of which there are loads to choose from. Multiple manufacturers are available. do with this one is hopefully I'll get it just right just give that a nudge over I thought it was a lot closer but apparently not there we go it's not so bad and this is where I will leave you hopefully by the start of the next episode um, I don't know if I'm going to skip ahead to the next day or not we've got the mulching will be done. We need to look at, let's say, getting... Is that mulching? Is that not mulching yet? What is that doing? Um, yeah, I need to look at getting myself a, a cedar slash planter or a combo both. I don't know. haven't decided. Um, and as I said already in the episode, the lime situation, the rock situation, ploughing over the other field. I've got loads to do. So, um, planning to look forward to. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Oh, I must forget to say this. Mr. Silly P merch, the Christmas um, limited edition, is now over. I think there's still a discount. It was only supposed to be for a month, but it's still showing the discount. But we've got some new merch added in. We've got a new beanie hat. We've got a baseball cap, a dad cap. 
and we've got a notebook. So if you're interested in any one of those or any of the other fantastic merchandise that's available, um, go and have a look. I think it's in the description. Whatever you should choose to do of all those things. Thanks for watching.